So Donnie's being the master family breakfast chef this morning. We've got bacon. That's right. And this is Joey's egg. It's uh, three eggs, mushroom, and spinach. And maybe a little sausage? Yeah, a little sauce, sausage. ground sausage in there too. All right. Thanks for cooking this morning, Donnie. You're welcome, sweet pea. So I ordered one of these on a Black Friday special from Amazon. TP Link Smart Wi Fi plug works with Alexa. And um, Johnny is hooking it up for me this morning. Um, an outlet next to my uh, side of the bed. Gosh! Alexa, turn on bed. Okay. Alexa, turn off bed. Okay. I've just installed our smart plug. It seems to be working with Alexa now as well. Middens! Middens is checking it out, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> he got her. <laughs> Poor little Middens. Poor little Middens. Oh, I got this. <laughs> Midnight's so happy he broke his own house and joy, I think. I guess I'm gonna have to hot glue it. <laughs> it's gonna collapse on him in a minute. It's collapsing. Oh my goodness, it's the great collapsing ski chalet. He likes it all right, folks. He likes it. So Joey and I got the Nutcracker set up. That was a fun uh, house of cards domino trick there, but uh, they're good until the cats run through them. We also started putting out some elves. Not all the elves by any stretch, but a lot of the elves. And I worked on my Christmas village over here a little bit. So... My teacher told us to read Mother and Son by Langston Hughes, which is a poem. And inside the poem, it has an extended metaphor comparing life to a crystal stair. And we've been assigned to remake that, so I fiend mine off a highway, so how about I read it to you guys? Well, son, I'll tell you. Life is a highway. It ha it's had potholes in it, and cracks, and many a bumps and places with no lines, empty. But all the time, I've been a driving on, and climbing hills, and changing lanes, and sometimes driving in the dark, where there aren't any street lamps. So boy, don't you switch to reverse. Don't you park and never drive again, cause you find your check engine light is on. Don't you park right there, for I still driving, honey. I still driving. And life for me has been a highway. Clap, 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 clap. That was awesome. Good job, Johnny. Yeah. I think his teacher will be pleased. So Don and Johnny got Grinch up. He doesn't stand on his own anymore. He's leaking too much air. So we needed Don's help because he uh, has a little bit of fishing line up to the gutter. Don also put my wreath up there and my wreath over on the carport. Two really nice wreaths I picked up at Guardian Angel over the last couple years. So, and then of course Don blue leaves again. Joey and I here heading off to Walmart in Holly Springs today. And it's four o'clock again. Where did the day go? Goodness. Yeah. So we started, um, we did a little more decorating today. We did elves. We did nutcrackers. Um, 
and lots of little tiny things and Joey was up and down the attic stairs a bunch for me it hurts my knee to go up and down the stairs so I've been avoiding it as much as possible but I have a little disaster area waiting for me up there to sort of restow things so maybe tomorrow who knows but let's go for a little yeah. ride so far fetched is on the list and Joey and I are looking for him I can get in the Pokemon go there he is just waiting Come on, buddy. Pop, pop. All right, Joey, catch him. So they released this Pokemon after how many billion were caught this week? Uh, three. Three billion. Three billion, yep. It was a reward. Never before in the Pokemon Go game. Well, he was in the game in Japan, and I got him. Yay! Way cool. I'm really disappointed the Walmart in Fuquay had these as a five light string and then they were sold out yesterday and now they're sold out here in Holly Springs too and I really want some of them. This is why moms have boys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so annoy the heck out of them. He carries bags. I provide dinner. Joey says I just walked over a fire ant mound. Oh my god. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Certainly did not mean to do that. But we did hike a good distance out here. Good to know I'm not the only person that stops in parking lots to clean their glass and finesse things with the car. <laughs> well, he put up Grinch today. He was our last inflatable to put up, so now I'm going to give you a tour of our front yard, or backyard, or whatever you want to call it. I think we did pretty good on this. I don't know what anyone else would think, but I think we did good. This is just the coolest thing ever. All of them. Right above my head. Yeah, straight above. That's it up there. Straight That's up there. the International Space Station. Don was watching the WRAL news and they said to go out and look for it. You only got just a couple of seconds. Like a minute, it's in view and then it's gone. Yeah, you should probably go set that camera on top of the green thing. You might actually catch the motion. So Don, come running in the house. Come real quick if you can. Just drop what you're doing. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, there's a fire. <laughs> right. yeah. Nope, just the International Space Station. But you know, uh, we've heard before, you know, about it um, coming through, but just have never made it to where we were supposed to be to see it. So you done good, Donnie. You done real good. Yeah, she said the um, the, the weather lady, the meteorologist Amy said that. It's going to go from southwest to northeast. It's going to pass like straight overhead and it's going to be moving. You'll be able to see it and it's going to be illuminated because of the sun. Um, you know, this is really brighter than normal, brighter than normal. And it was like no problem seeing. I mean, it was like a white, well, uh, a star. Yeah, just moving, moving really fast. Sky. That yeah. was way cool. That was worth getting scared and running out of the house for. 